Big shout out to Sporting Icon, best channel out there. Well, I think it'd be safe to say before this fight that most people would have probably picked Tony Yoka to defeat Martin Bacoli on points. And especially as it's in his um, home country of France, his home city of Paris. Now, Tony Yoka versus Martin Bacoli, this was the main event. It was available on Canal Plus, Premier Sports 2 and ESPN. But quite how this fight went down, I don't think too many people would have predicted it. Now, I wanted Martin Bacoli to win, of course. But what I didn't expect was Martin Bacoli to beat the living shit out of Tony Yoka for the entire fight. The entire fight. Tony Yoka didn't know what to do. He couldn't live with him. He gets dropped twice. He was in round one and six, if I remember rightly. And there was nothing in the world that Tony Yoka uh, could do about it. And to be fair, to be fair, it did look like that uh, uh, Tony Yoka had his nose broken and he twisted his ankle or his Achilles went. Something happened for sure with the with that uh, second knockdown because it, it wasn't a huge knockdown um, for, for the uh, second time. But Tony Yoka, his uh, foot this was just seemed to be dragging after then. Very much like uh, David Hay and Tony Bellew in the first fight, if you remember that one. But either way, Martin Bacoli just beat the living hell out of this Olympic gold medalist in his home city, in his home country. It was a one-sided beatdown. I mean, Billy Nelson is going to be impossible to be around after this one. That is for sure. Uh, Martin Bacoli has just arrived on the big stage. He's been calling for the big fights for a long time. Well, there's his opportunity, and there he goes. Now, quite what Tony Yoka was doing in this fight, what his tactics were, what his tactics were with Virgil Hunter, I have no idea. Because Martin Bacoli, he did look like he was starting to tie a little bit, even from round three, round four. But thing is, is that uh, Tony Yoka did absolutely nothing about it. He couldn't do anything about it. Now, Yoka, he's a big guy. Was he six foot seven odd or something like that? Big long reach on him. He's a very good boxer. Great boxing fundamentals. He's a big strong lad. Just couldn't do anything with Bacoli. Couldn't shift him. Just couldn't do anything about it. And the way for Tony Yoka to defeat a Martin Bacoli was either A, on the outside, use that jab, and just keep jabbing him all night. Keep him at bay. Or you get on the inside. Because that was kind of like the one part that I felt Martin Bacoli may have been a little bit vulnerable, throw some hooks and body shots, that kind of thing. Tony Yoka did none of that. He was Martin Bacoli's punching bag, is what it was. He got beat up real, real bad in this fight. He really did. So congratulations to Martin Bacoli. I said he's been calling for these big fights for quite some time. He finally got one and he delivered. Boy, did he deliver. This was a one-sided beatdown. This wasn't even close wasn't even close and if the French judges or the judges there at ringside were even had even just an inkling to rob Martin Bacoli well there's no way that they could have done it it would have been impossible absolutely impossible anyway congratulations to Martin Bacoli on a one-sided beatdown win I'm very very interested to see what happens with him next drop your thoughts below click thumbs up subscribe catch you on the next video